gentlemen. Since a long time, uh, there has been no official visit uh, by Julian Assange. Me, Sevim Dadelen, Deputy Chief of the Left Party Parliamentary Group of Die Linke in the German Parliament, Heike Hensel, Deputy Chief of this group, and our new friend John Assange, father of Julian Assange. We've been here to talk to you after our visit. Julian Assange has been isolated the last eight months, eight months in the Ecuadorian embassy. Julian Assange's situation is extremely precarious and inhuman. I have never seen such a problem and such a case in the world. What makes this case very singular is that there is no other publisher or editor in the Western world who has been arbitrarily detained. It's just Julian Assange. And it's a shame for us, for the Western world, who has got this so-called Western values about human rights and all these uh, human rights issues. And that's why we force, of course, and ask and demand that this case has to be solved, that no publisher, no editor, no journalist is detained because of publishing the truth. Public, making public war crimes is not a crime. And what is a crime is doing or ordering war crimes, but not publishing it and uh, reporting it. The fact that this, uh, he is arbitrarily detained is not an opinion of those who support him. It is actually opinion of the United Nations. The United Nations said that his detention is against the international law and it's against the human rights. So therefore, we are, as German parliamentarians, very afraid about these rumors we're getting about the Ecuadorian authorities, the administration, that they want to get rid of Julian Assange, that they want to end his uh, political asylum. We urge the Ecuadorian authorities to still keep this achievement alive, to say that Ecuador was in a time where other Western countries didn't want to stick on the human rights and political asylum for journalists, publishers and, and editors that Ecuador did this, and this was a great achievement. It was a good prestige for Ecuador, and I hope the new authorities in Ecuador, they will still keep this line to protect people from persecution, to protect people from extraterritorial persecution, and to protect them against violations on freedom of speech, freedom of press. Myself also I would like first of all mention the isolation policy of the Ecuadorian uh, embassy. Myself, I was trying from May on to get a permission to visit Julian Assange. Now it was possible. I waited more than seven months in order to get this permission. And of course, still he is a subject of uh, isolation policy. And during these eight months of total isolation, he was not able to, to receive visitors, neither getting access to internet or uh, phone calls, mobile phone and so on. It was full isolation and this is really violating fundamental rights. Uh, the same way that he is suffering from censorship, he is gagged. That means this is a very tough violation of freedom. Of course, we are also very much concerned that the end of this case could, could be the extradition to the United States. Therefore, we call upon our own government, all European governments, member states of the European Union, that they should prevent any, any case of extradition to the United States and we ask for the rejection of the attempt of the U.S. administration that they now try to get U.S. laws settled here in, in the European Union. That means that they try to censor journalists writing in Europe and this is, I think, uh, this case must be fully rejected by the EU member states. We do have similar cases uh, in, in Turkey. F we are facing similar cases with, Erdo with President Erdogan who tried to charge 
German journalists and actors and so on while criticizing President Erdogan. So this is a similar case that the, the Trump administration tries to persecute in a cross-border way, trying to organize a cross-border persecution of Julian Assange, extraterritorial persecution, and we fully, we fully resist this and we ask our, our governments also to reject these attempts of the US administration. And we ask for the international community, all supporters of Julian Assange, to show now strong solidarity in order to prevent the extradition to the United States. This is our main goal. We want to see Julian Assange as a free journalist who can keep on with his work as he did before. We have to say thank you to Julian Assange he is one of the most important whistleblowers and we ask for international protection for whistleblowers generally and in the special case of Julian Assange. Of course we, we wrote already a letter with more than 35 or 40 uh, MPs uh, from national parliaments and Europe, the European Parliament addressing the Secretary General of the United Nations and the different uh, national governments in order to find an international solution on the case of Julian Assange and we will continue to build a network of MPs in the European Union to protect him. <coughs> so we will continue with, on the parliamentarian level and of course we will campaign uh, publicly. I mean, I was the first parliamentarian who visited Julian Assange in September 2012. And Julian Assange wasn't meant to be here so long. Yes. And we have to get a solution on this case. And this solution must be, must guarantee his health and his security. And that's why we will take another step. And in the last six years, we have done some initiatives. But as long as we can see is that the attention and the problematic case is not getting the solution it deserves for a Western country, which is uh, calling so often about the Western values in other parts of the world. So we have to get a solution on this uh, issue. Well, what do you think and the solution is? Who is uh, supposed to take the next step here? Well, the United Kingdom is yes. actually <laughs> the one who has to take the uh, steps. Yes. But my problem is that the United Kingdom is taking the false steps like it was uh, against the United Nations. Uh, United Kingdom government tried to appeal the UN decision, but they lost. And still uh, they are not ex accepting this UN decision and this has to be stopped. And uh, they have to, I mean, it's a member of the United Nations. It's, I have a seat in the Security Council, and in my point of view, UK, United Kingdom is damned to accept and respect the international law and the international rights of uh, someone who likes uh, Julian Assange. And that's why United Kingdom has to take the measures now to bring it to a solution which is in the frame of international law and not in the frame of the US administration who is against international law and against actually the US law. I mean, against the First Amendment. They are taking measures like the protection of journalists and freedom of speech uh, and the freedom of press. So we have to actually uh, protect them from themselves, not to violate their First Amendment.